Now are all of you able to change the road? The night. Mr. Peabody, are you for that? I absolutely am for that. There's not been a school on that hill in how many years? years? Fifteen years. There's not a school there. We want to change it to Lions Club Lane. The Lions Club, an organization most of whom have never stepped foot well, in Campbell County. Well, the people of Carroll don't want to name name for the Lions Club. All the people of Carroll don't want to name for the Lions Club. Well, there's a big number of them here. What's the purpose of changing the name of the road? It's on the Lions Club. The purpose of changing the name for the road is in honor of the Lions Club who, who have donated slash gave us grants for 125. Why can't you, why can't you use a plaque or something? Why can't you put something up to, to honor the Lions Club? There will absolutely be a plaque. Yes. How many people from Carroll is on the Lions Club? How many belongs to it? Have any of you people belong to the Lions Club? Have you ever been asked to join the Lions Club? You don't even live a little click in the fallen. This room, are, are we at war with the fallen? Why would you want to name it after somebody like this? This is after an international an organization that gave us $125,000 towards the park. They meant to know about putting a sign up there. We have a sign for Carable down here already. We do? Yes. What's that say? It's right there in the corner wall. You pass by it every day when you come down right here. Okay, that's all I have to say. All right. Thank you, sir. I have a question. Excuse me. I, this I'll gentleman over here was next. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I know you're fine. You're, right. you're fine. You, you're I'm fine right there. Uh, I, live, uh, I live in Carroll. Thank you for letting me speak, Mr. Lyons. Uh, I just like to reach out to my fellow Carroll folks and just, just ask you to work. Work, work with us. Uh, it is true. It, it will be changing the road to a one-way road. And that is very true. However, it's for the safety of the little girls like this and also not even just disabled kids, but also kids that live in Carroll. Uh, every day, uh, just living in Carroll, I see so many kids walking around in, in my neighborhood. My, my kids being one. You know, it would be awesome to have a place where all the kids in Carroll could walk down and ride down. Uh, breaking ground is what May 1st. Am I, am, I, am I correct? Hopefully May 1st, uh, guys, Carol needs this. Carol needs this. Uh, and, and, and the church, the traffic going to church will, will still be intact going to church. Uh, you could leave church the back way, which I, you know, I honestly, I drive up the road, and then I come out in front of Carol, in front of Carol Post Office, just because that's just the way I drive. So. It would not change my routine. Uh, I would come in just like I did today. I, I teach welding. Uh, I drove past Shoney's. I turned left. I turned up the road in front of church, First Baptist, which I live right beside First Baptist. Uh, you know, I love the neighborhood. I, lo I love being careful. And then when I leave, uh, I pull out. I live on the left side of Hill Street going up like you're going towards Bearwaller. And I drive down in front of Carroll Post Office, and I turn left. Uh, so that would not impact me, but I, I really want to ask my fellow people in Carroll, uh, please get behind and support this, please, please. Uh, and, and you look at all the traffic, even if somebody doesn't know, they have to go through town. Imagine all the extra traffic that's going to go through uh, actual downtown Carroll, which we know that we need more traffic and more people, you know, business in, in downtown Carroll. I think Carroll is a great community. I think it can, you know, it can grow. Uh, I believe that, you know, we get some more traffic there, some more businesses, it could be a good thing too. But uh, I really hope that, I hope Carable really comes together for the young people of Carable, the kids walking around in our neighborhood. And yes, I know Cove Lake State Park is across the highway. Some of those kids don't have people to drive to Cove Lake State Park. Some of those kids are going to have to walk to the park that we're building. Okay? And I, and I, I just I just want Carable to come together on this. That's all I want. I just want Carol to come together on this. I don't want to see anybody as enemy. We're all we're all brothers and sisters underneath Christ, literally. Okay. I just want us to come together. It, it's not going to change the routine, guys. The road's not going away. As far as renaming the road, personally, I don't really care what the name is named. I don't know what the road of the name is. I don't think Brandon cares what the name of the road is. What well, he cares about that there's a brand new park in Carol for kids to play at, which we've not had that in a while. And yeah, I played, I played football and baseball uh, on that baseball field. Yeah, I remember that. And ever since it's went down, I have, I have always asked, man, why don't we have something for our kids here? Man, it would be nice for Zachariah to have somewhere to play. 
It would be great to have, you know, Millie could play somewhere. There's nothing down here. And now we finally got it. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Come on. They Come better on. not, Thank you. They Thank better you. not walk to that park in Caribou that will get run over by a four wheel. <laughs> yes, sir. Your name. Go ahead, sir. What if they, what if they build the parking lot in that field and put a crosswalk in the road? That way you have to stop and let the people cross. Like I said, there, nothing has been set in stone yet, okay? Nothing has been set in stone. The pace, the pace, the pace, that's not off the tape. It's not off the tape. Right. I mean, nothing's, nothing's, been, set, nothing's been decided. Nothing's set in stone, folks. I worked I work for the city for about 20 years. Yes, you did. Uh, we cleared out a park over in Bruce's Gap. We had 17 acres on it. What would not that consider for a handicap? Well, I think the it being more well, it been more centuries. Is that down there? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm more, go ahead. Are you talking about Asbury Park? Yeah. Okay. Well, we just had a recreation meeting about Asbury Park, and now that we're, I mean, if you you've been, I assume everybody's been by there and seen that the dirt work is mostly done at the playground equipment set, right? Now that that's done, we had a, in this next budget cycle, we're looking at an improvement of Asbury Park <coughs> to make it more Little League baseball friendly, which has always been big here. I mean, I know Vets kids have gone through it. Um, he said, why didn't we uh, consider...